or they're you know, just excited to get started. It, it uh, So much goes into what it is we do for those 11, you know, game days uh, that we have uh, during the season. And the, for our players, you know, it started back in January in the early mornings. You know, they're getting up at 6 a.m. going to the weight room when it's dark and no one else is up at that time. And, and uh, you know, throughout spring practice where you have your 15 practices, you start putting pieces in place and deal with what it was that you lost from the pre previous season. And then what our players do over the summer and the sacrifices that they make, you know, to, to stay local if they can and work out with Drew Peterson and do that type of work. They're getting together on their own. All of that goes into what we have and what we start come Thursday. So uh, there's a high excitement level, as there is every season, to get it started. I know our players are tired of and, uh, practicing and, and, and uh, banging on one another. They're, they're, they're ready to go. And, and uh, start answering so many of the questions that everybody has. Hey, how are you going to be in 2012? How are you going to deal with the loss of this player or that player? So, uh, you know, we're excited to get started and anxious to be at home. Uh, certainly that uh, the first time in my five years that we've opened at home. And uh, as I've said before, I think we have one of the best atmospheres in all of Division Two, and it's going to be fun to, uh, to have that atmosphere uh, come Thursday. You know, Alex is a great story. He uh, really hasn't played since 2008, extensive minutes. He was a quarterback at Sierra Junior College 2008, went back to play at a school in Wisconsin, uh, left there before things started, just, just uh, unhappy, not wanting to be there. Uh, in 2010, was just a student at Sac State, and then transferred in last summer and, and uh, was our backup last year. So uh, he's, a, he's a young man that uh, uh, a very intelligent, uh, he's got a very good arm, can throw the ball, uh, and, and, and he will be just fine. I know there's been a lot of focus, as there always is, on the quarterback position. I have, I have tremendous confidence in what Alex will do. He will, uh, and, and, and every day in practice you see him improving. And I think just as importantly as that improvement, you see the other ten players in that huddle starting to realize, okay, we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. And there's a confidence that's being built. Uh, uh, with Alex Rupp. So I'm anxious to see him play. He's certainly earned this opportunity to go out and be our quarterback, and, and uh, I think he'll, he'll uh, perform just fine. Well, that's the crazy thing about college. At some point, they do graduate, and uh, you have to you go through this, and, and I've been through it before. And, and uh, uh, again, uh, you know, everybody knew the Mike Pruitt of the Linden Rouse. Well, we have players on this team who may not be as familiar yet, but two, three years from now, it'll be those players that we talk about how you're going to replace that guy or this guy. So. Uh, again, well, uh, every team, uh, every year is, is a new year, obviously, uh, and, and what the 2011 team did and those players that accomplished some great things, that's now, you know, uh, in the past. And it's time for these players and the 2012 team to establish itself and, and create its own identity, so to speak. So uh, whether it be Ali Trump, a quarterback, or the running backs that we have replacing Linden or on the defensive uh, side of the ball, where you've got you know Sean McDonald, Antonio Salado in there instead of an Andrew Upati. You got a JJ Evans in there instead of a Jonah Faremo. Uh, you know you've got a Tanner Webb in there instead of a guy Rick Adouli. There's still talent, and I think that's that's the the most important thing here. Yes, we graduated some very good talent that had experience. We have talent now, in some cases, lacking that experience, but they'll gain that as the season moves forward. Well, and, and it, it, it's big in terms of how they determine you know, how you rank nationally and within your region. And certainly we're playing a team in Colorado Mesa that, you know, a lot of other schools will look at uh, as comparison being the only out-of-conference game that we have. But uh, 11 games in 11 weeks, not even the NFL does that. They have a bye before that. So that's a grind, and it will be a grind on our players. And, and certainly maintaining good health over the course of that season is going to be, is going to play a critical role in, in the success we ultimately have. And then 10 straight conference games after uh, after we, you know, we finish out with uh, Colorado Mesa, so it's it's a different landscape, so to speak. We move from Region Four into Super Region Three, uh, and, and and it's based on regional ranking. Is how playoff situations are determined, and and we add Azusa Pacific uh, to the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. So a lot of changes here in 2012, and, and uh, uh, it's going to be a very very competitive year starting with Colorado Mesa. Well, those things happen, and uh, one thing I have learned is that is that game week is a miraculous healer, you know, and stuff. But Jerry did. Jerry has a thumb injury that's going to require him to wear a cast. Uh, it's a pretty good club that he has on there because there's a, you know, a, a, a three-quarters-inch foam pad around the cast for, for protection reasons. 
he's going to have to adjust to that, certainly. Uh, we also have Jonathan West, a backup offensive lineman who recently had surgery. That will keep him out till about mid-season. Other than that, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, uh, those players that, that we held out last Thursday in our scrimmage, had that been a game night, I think most would have been able to go. And, and we should be uh, very close to full strength uh, as, as we open up on Thursday. It's, it, it's like, I think, the rest of our offense. It's kind of a work in progress, and, and uh, there's talent up front, and, and we think that in time that can be a strength for us offensively. But the reality of it is we have one player returning from a year ago at the yeah. position he played, Brett Freivendahl starting a right tackle. We've taken David Culp, who started the left guard, moved him to center. Dylan Reagan, our starter of right guard, is, is, is a, a new transfer from College of the Redwoods. Uh, our left guard, Max Little, uh, was a backup uh, last year for us. And then our left tackle, Elijah Rule, is a, is a transfer from Idaho State University. So, uh, you know, four of the, the starting five up front are either new to the program entirely or playing a new position or in a starting role for the first time. So uh, it has the potential to be very good, uh, and, and hopefully it'll be very good early. But uh, certainly we're going to, you know, part of, part of that first game is let's see how you know, how they gel as a unit because they've got all of two weeks uh, of working together under their belt and, and so that, and that's, you know, that's a short period of time. I guess what a W would mean. Well, the great thing about, about the starting season, now we can get into a routine where every week there's an opponent and there's a preparation that goes into preparing for that opponent and all of that. And certainly, I think a team learns more about itself and, and improves the most from week one to week two. So certainly week one is going to answer a lot of the questions that everybody has, coaches included, because a lot of these players we've yet to see in game situations. And, and, and uh, players can practice all they want, but when the lights go on for real and it's a different opponent and the speed of the game increases and picks up a little bit, you want to see how your players respond to that environment, to, that, uh, to those situations. And, and so uh, we're anxious to see that as well. There will be a lot of adjustments. That, that, that we'll need to make come Saturday. Obviously, we're playing a team that's got an entirely new coaching staff, so any game tape we've been able to watch on them is a different team. We've watched, you know, you know we, we research and all that stuff, uh, you know, what other teams have done. Uh, not Colorado Mesa, because, you, don't, you know, the, the coaching staff from, from last year's Colorado Mesa game we have, not here. So, you know, a lot of things go into a first game like that. There's a lot of unknown uh, uh, quantities that, that, that you have to deal with, and, and uh, you do the best you can. You do your research as best you can. But more importantly, it's, it's, it's focus on yourselves. Focus on Humboldt State. Focus on our players doing the things we know they're, they, they, they're capable of doing and doing that at a very high level. And that's, that's obviously there are going to be mistakes. Uh, first games, you tend to have more, as, as uh, the players mentioned. There will be a lot of nerves, a lot of... Uh, anxiety or anticipation. Hopefully, as we get into the you know early part of that fourth quarter, that stuff goes away, and now it's it's just them doing what they know how to do, and that's play football. Coach, it, it's absolutely huge. I mean, the the home field advantage. You hear that cliche, but it's very very true, and it's very true here at the Red Red Bowl that uh, when that place is, is is packed, and you have the chainsaw game going in the end zones, and and uh, uh, the crowd getting behind it, and, and the jack attack section, and our students, you know, that to me that's what make college what makes college football uh, the special sport that it is, and, and to play your games on campus like we have here in a venue like the Redwood Bowl, it's pretty special. It's fun for the community to come out and not only watch the, the game on the field, but the, the students in the stands and the support, the chainsaw crew and everything like that. So uh, I hope we get a, a good crowd. I know there's excitement, as there well should be, uh, for this uh, football team, for this season to start. Uh, certainly we were able to build a lot of excitement a year ago, but as I said, that's now in the past. It's, 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 it's these players, it's their time now. Uh, here in 2012, and, and uh, uh, but yeah, a, a large crowd, the excitement, the chainsaws going, all of that is huge. And we've got not just our opener, but our first three games at home. Never had that in, in 22 years now as a head coach. Three consecutive home games, and certainly never, obviously never had it to start a season. So with a young team like we have, with players, uh, you know, in, in different roles for the first time, I think that's an advantage and needs to be an advantage for us uh, as we as we get started here in 2012. Uh, it's, it's a little excitement, and I can feel a little nervousness as well, because it's um, like I said uh, before, it's a new team, or like not completely new, but it's like a, a third of the team is pretty new, and it's just everyone's excited to see how it's gonna look when we come out there, because it's 
pract practicing against our own team is like real different from going out and playing another team. So we just got to see how how the offense and defense fare towards it. They're pretty. They they were they were pretty sound last year, but we had we had a lot of returners. Like I said last year, and everyone stuck to their job. So as long as everyone on our team does what's what they're meant to do in their personal role, then everything should pan out. Should be what well, should be fine. I th I think the coaches did real well in the recruiting process of bringing in guys because I mean you can't you, it's definitely hard to uh, try to regain that experience that you have with Mike Pruitt. He's like a four year starting quarterback. Uh, Lyndon Riles, he was a returner. He's probably one of the best running backs at school has seen. Uh, it's hard it's hard to uh, it's it's a big pair of shoes to fill. But I mean with with the, with the guys we have back there, Alex, he's pretty he's a smart guy. Uh, with Nick, uh, Daniel White, and uh, Bryson, it's a nice three-hundred monster back there. So I don't think it'll be too much of a drop-off. Uh, just for the fact that uh, to to play a team like them, you just have to, like I said earlier, you, did, you just have to be like sound in your assignment. As long as, as long as you don't try to go outside of what you have to do, then everything should be fine. You just gotta. It just comes down to trusting your team, and that's that's something that we're gonna have to find out on Thursday. Do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm real confident because our, our coaches prepare us very well before uh, every game, put us in a lot of different situations, and uh, just like practice makes perfect is just repetition. Well, uh, from being here for so long, I, I could tell you exactly what's going to happen. We're going to go through. We'll probably uh, come out on our base base defense, and then after that first series is over, we'll go to the sidelines, and uh, Coach Mack will go over all the adjustments. He's, he's pretty good at uh, making those in-game adjustments like uh, on the fly. I feel like there's only one way to find out, and that's the, when we come out to play on Thursday. I mean, that will, you'll see by how how everyone's playing, whether or not if if they're leading role for this team. Yeah, I've been I've been talking to uh, a lot of guys on the team. I've been talking to Jerry and uh, Tonio and uh, Sean Sean McDonald, and I just told them that the team's only gonna go as far as their defense takes us. So if if they I keep telling them if they don't score, they can't win. Just, just like um, there's all, there's always the games too where the defense has to end up uh, pulling through, maybe put a touchdown or make come up with some big stops, some big turnovers. But I don't want to feel like we have to always uh, we have to wait till that time comes. I feel like we need to just play like that consistently all the time. Play like play with a chip on our shoulder. You show up on campus and been... yeah, there I could tell a lot of people um, or they they start to find out when uh, Coach Smith. How, just how every, he goes through every practice, how every all the little little details are the most uh, most important thing sometimes, and a lot of guys are starting to pick that up and see that how discipline and just paying attention to those close details will take you a far way, uh, take you a long way in this game. Thank you. Oh, it's huge uh, compared to last year having to go all the way to Colorado. Um, it's huge to start home in front of our fans. As everyone knows, we have great fan support. Uh, we've been working since January for this uh, opportunity, so we're excited to come out there. You know, always as returning, there's going to be some pressure, and I think pressure is a good thing. It really forces people to come out and be on top um, and uh, play with that edge. So I'm excited to get out there and see what this team has to do. As a tight end, you're catching passes from a new quarterback than yeah. you were last year. What did we like about from the game? Um, like Chris mentioned, he's a, a really smart kid. You know, he, um, he, t he pays great attention to detail, uh, great arm. Just all around a good kid, so I'm excited for him. Um, I think it's important. Um, I mean, I don't think uh, any one person has a bigger role than the other. I, f I feel like everyone really has to contribute as a unit. Um, but I think that the veterans on the team, especially on offense, uh, replacing quite a few players, really do have to come out and uh, show some support for him. Um, I think one of our strengths this year is definitely our offensive line. We've got some big guys up front, and uh, we do have three really good running backs back there. So I think just, um, especially first game, just um, nobody doing too much, just really running the football and um, going from there. Offense. Um, I, I hope to fit that role as a team captain. I think um, the players on the team voted me to, to pull through with that. Um, I think, uh, just like I said earlier, the veterans on the team also really have to um, step up as well. But I'm excited to get out there and be uh, I think every team, every year is a new team, a new nucleus of players, and so you base your strengths off of that. Um, but yes, as far as uh, keeping up the tempo, that's what we're looking to do. Um, you know, the first two years here we were a huddle up uh, offense, and these last, this, the past season and this season, uh, you know, uh, 
it's really fun to be a high tempo, keep the defense on your, on their toes. Um, I think it really does give the offense an advantage because, especially in those later quarters, you can see their hands on the hips, and that's when you know you can finish them.